Hello everyone, I got a 2013 BMW 528i. I did a video on replacing the coolant level sensor because I'm having was having issues with the level sensor, getting a warning light that the coolant level was low and wasn't low. So I replaced the sensor. That still didn't fix the issue. So I ordered a new reservoir, coolant reservoir. It's got a float inside and you can hear it rattle it goes up and down so today i'm going to be replacing the reservoir the reservoir i ordered comes with a sensor so uh, i'm just gonna that's the sensor i'm gonna leave the, the sensor that came with it in place now i didn't order a genuine part and so it is a little bit different it's gonna require me to take the bracket off the old one and use this bracket so i've got two bolts that are holding this in problem is this one has got screws that hold it hold the tabs down and the one that came with the vehicle is just got it's a uh, more of a quick release so it, it's not interchangeable if it was interchangeable i could leave the bracket in place and just change out the actual white reservoir this is a little bit more work no big deal we'll get it done so to do that, uh, I'm going to have to remove this, this heat shield, this cross member, and I'm going to have, there's a bolt back here for this one that I'll have to remove. So I kind of scoped out the job to see what I had to do, and I'm going to remove one nut, one screw. There's the heat sensor. Then I remove this bolt, this brace. And that give me access to this screw back here. Then for this one, I had to use a, a swivel to get it started, use an attachment with the swivel and bring it back in there. It's, it's a little bit difficult. You don't want to drop the bolt. But once you get it going, it goes okay. Pull it out. Okay. So that's basically it. Now I'm going to remove the connectors. This is the inlet. It's got a retaining ring. Just pull up on the retaining ring. Pull off. I'm going to reach back here. And there's an electrical connection. You come around. So I'm going to undo the electrical connection. So I'm going to undo the electrical connection by pressing down the back of the tab and pulling it off. I've drained the coolant from this reservoir, but I'm still going to do a quick change out. So I pulled back on this retainer tab, uh, retainer pin, and then Work it off. It's ah, there. We go. So the old one came out. I got a little bit of coolant leaking, so I'm gonna put this one in quickly. Oh. There we go. Snapped it in place. And connect this top part. That pin. Let's see, I didn't secure the pin down here. Yeah, I did. Okay, and put my electrical connector back on. All right, now I'm ready to reassemble it. 
So I'll put this bolt back on, this one on, put my windshield washer bolt back on up here, and then put this cross member back in place and the heat shield back on. Okay. All right, so I got the reservoir off and I was looking at it. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but below that metal retainer cap is the float. And I got the screwdriver and I was putting it in here, kind of moving around. I got it where it's the float is free. So shake it and you can hear the float move. But there's some off color like residue on top of the that float. That may have been what was clogging it up and, and keeping it from going the, the full distance it need to. Uh, so it's likely indication that it's time to flush the coolant, remove it, and put new coolant in when you're getting signs like that. Okay.